This video is to help you with your controlled assessments on how to write effectively. In other words, how to try to aim for the middle and top mark bands. So we're going to look at a couple of examples here. Obviously, we have to be really, really careful because I can't give you any of the answers for the control assessment. So I'm going to use very generic examples. The first example we are going to look at is just about colours. So a very generalised bit of information to do with colours related to business studies. So to get mark band one, it usually says something like identify or basic outline. So the mark band one is usually something to do with that kind of really, really basic level of detail. This one here says one colour that can be used for advertising is pink which is often used to target females. So if you just kind of highlight a very, very basic point about pink being used to target females, that would get you bottom mark band because you're not really explaining anything. To get the middle mark band, it usually says a sound or adequate explanation. So to do that, I usually say to try to form two strong sentences really to make your point so first of all the same point that we made before but with a little bit of added explanation so the use of the color pink for advertising can be used to attract the female audience due to its long-term use in society and then we give a specific example so using the color pink could attract the female target audience for my product since people will see it and assume it is for women now to get the top mark band is a lot more difficult, usually a lot more comprehensive detail is what's expected. So when you first see this you might think I can't do this, this is way too much writing but obviously when you are being asked to do something comprehensively you know it's usually one small bit of information, maybe one slide or one half a page of information that you need to be talking about. So in this case it says comprehensive. It's a deeper discussion of your point. So colours can be used for eliciting a response from the target customers. For example, red has often had certain connotations such as danger. For example, it is used for a stop sign and other warning signs. Colours can be used to advertise specifically to one type of customer, the most obvious being gender. For many years, businesses have used blue for male and pink for girls when using or when making products for babies. So there we've kind of had a real deep discussion about colours and how they can be used for different reasons. And then I've done a specific example about blue and pink for males and girls. Here we've got the impact at the end. So it's very similar to when you write in the exam to get six marks in your analysis. So a lot of the mark bands for your coursework, say comprehensive analysis, you're looking to do kind of a state explain impact like you do for the exam. So in this case, we're looking at the impact of the business. The use of colour could help me in reaching my target market when creating my advert as I could focus on the use of pink as it could posi positively attract my target customers who are female. However, this colour choice could alienate the male audience and mean I have fewer potential customers. So there you can see the real difference between kind of your bottom mark band, your middle mark band and your top mark band. And if you aim to do that all the way through, then realistically you should be getting top mark band for most of your work. We'll take another look at another example to see if it makes a bit more sense. So for the next example, we're just going to look at a research method. So for R068, you don't actually have to do this anymore, but you used to have to talk about the different research methods. So there's no harm in me explaining an example of this. For the bottom mark band, we could identify or give a basic outline of a research method. In this case, I've chosen a survey because everybody's familiar with that one. So one research method is a survey. This is a list of questions that can be given out to get answers from people 
and gain information that could help a business. So it's a real basic outline of a survey that would get you mark band one. So for mark band two, we need a real further explanation with a specific example of what we could use it for. So one research method is a survey, which is a list of open and closed ended questions that can be put into online or paper format and distributed to the public. Then a specific example, the business could use a digital survey to send it out via email and gather quick responses. The data could be analysed quickly if multiple choice questions are used and the results can be placed into graphs. So the bottom bit might not actually be necessary but it's just a slight further addition to include a little benefit of using that method. And then finally we've got comprehensive. So comprehensive is where we have a deeper discussion with examples. Surveys can be either digital or paper based. They are a set of questions which can gather quantitative or qualitative data and can be distributed online or in person. So our specific example has been expanded. The survey can feature multiple choice answers to guide the participants and the results are easier to analyse since they can be automatically represented in graphs and charts. Additionally, open-ended questions can gather people's deeper thoughts and opinions, but these will take longer to analyse. Finally, we do the impact, just like we did before, similar to a six-mark question. The impact on the business is usually the benefits and the drawbacks. So using a survey, will help the business as it allows them to create their own personalised questions to gather primary research which no one else has completed before. This will allow them to gather specific information for their business and customers. The survey may be confusing for some and they may not understand some questions. This could lead to poor data. So there's all sorts of benefits and drawbacks that you could go into but it just makes your description of a survey comprehensive you're really going into depth in what a survey is giving examples and how it can benefit the business or what impact it will have so hopefully this video is helpful to explain to you how to get those top mark bands and anytime you are answering a piece of work and it says comprehensive really think about how much detail and depth that you can go into including the impact on the business